Yeah, so it's super difficult keeping the glass clean for the anaconda enclosure because their anacondas, they like going in the water and then getting out and smudging everything on the glass. Because I gotta get the water bowl out. Let's try Oh, enough. <laughs> <laughs> this is perfect, I love it. No, I need to get the tub out. Move. Move. Get on the You bite me, I smack your bum. <laughs> My reaction is like so slow. Get that on camera. See, this is a nice friendly anaconda. There we go. Now Garrett can shed. I'm super stoked because the top of her head can heal. Now she's just looking at me like she thinks I'm food, <laughs> which isn't good. Go inside. Okay, so the objective of this is to put this water in that tub for them without getting bitten. You think it's possible? Ha! <laughs> She's looking right at me. I would call that success. Not being bitten and successfully completing the task at hand. Just a quick warning, you're gonna see blood on a rat right now because when I defrosted them, the rats on top of them, well, the pressure squeezed them and the blood came out of their heads. So it does look gross, just warning, be warned. There are four of them in this enclosure over here and we're going to try to not be bitten, obviously. Let's see how this goes. There's four of them, so I also don't want them to eat each other. I think let's try and start with the big one. Let's try to get this guy out. Come boy, come on. There we go, there we go. Nice juicy rat, here it comes. Come, there we go. Just get him out of the way a little bit. I can see the females are coming. So let's get a rat ready quickly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this girl. Okay, give her a rat before she steals it from the male. Move her out the way too, so she doesn't hurt the boy. This is none of these are Gera yet. Okay, here we go. We got two anacondas. Come on, wrap it up, wrap it up. Okay, now, now for the big girl. Let's try get big, big girl out first. Okay, well, watch out, watch out. This guy's <laughs> coming for us again. Move back. Go for your own rat. You've got your rat. Check it him. He's like, I'm gonna try to take two. No. Dude, you've got a rat. No, 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 no. Don't go there. 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 Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Go inside your enclosure. There's your rat. This is why you don't feed snakes in the same enclosure because things aren't as easy. Okay, so I've got two rats, one in each hand. Gotta try to get both snakes to get there. Okay, so Gera's in the blue, I gotta watch out because I don't want the, the bigger girl to steal the food from a Gera. So let's try to get her out of the enclosure first. Come on, girl. Come, Gera. Come, my beautiful girl. Uh uh. Come forward. I don't want you to go back in the water with it. No. No. There we go. We got her out the water. And now to get the last girl. This is a very... Okay, watch out. Okay, the big girl's gonna come now and she's grumpy. Watch her. Okay. I gotta really wash my hands. <laughs> Come on. Okay. How's the rest of them doing? No, don't bite her. Don't bite her. That's a snake. Come on, Agera. What are you doing? Okay. He's got his rat. She's got her rat. Now you gotta come out. Come out, big girl. Okay, she's coming. Here she comes. There we go. Check how nicely she's biting that rat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was easy enough for the big girl. Now I just gotta keep a close eye on them until they are all swallowed so they do not steal each other's food. That's why it's important to try separate them once you've done this, but this should 
work out perfectly. Yo, my guys, I know you can't see me right now, but that's because it's 11 o'clock, 11 p.m. Yes, that's what it takes to keep snakes. You gotta be up early and go to bed late sometimes because you're checking on your babies. I'm gonna take out the water now because they squeezed all the rat juices out and I don't want that to fester and become all gross. So let's take that out right now without disturbing the snakes and without being bitten or tagged. I don't know. The biggest thing in this game is like patience, guys. Like, bro, if you want to keep snakes, you got to put the time, effort and commitment into it because what you put in, you will get out like I always say. And yes, that does mean I spend hours upon hours in the reptile room every single day and always make time for things. Yes, every day is different. Some days I spend a lot more time than others. Yo, yo, this is so cool. I don't know why I'm whispering. The snakes are breeding right now. The anacondas, they're locked, which is kind of annoying because they keep on locking and then I'm not able to do anything. I need to clean out their water like every two or three days because they decide to poop in it and you know, make it all messy because there's four of them in there all just chilling together. So they're busy paired up right now and busy breeding. And the male seems to really love this one female. He's locked with a gara once that I've seen the huge female he's locked with countless times. Like he really, really digs her. So having said that, I can't do anything at the moment with these anacondas and I can't disturb them because you can really damage their internal organs if you disturb them and move around too much while they're busy breeding because then they'll pull out and rip each other to shreds well, their internal organs, so just gotta leave them be. But hopefully this means babies and success with that, so I'm stoked. Cause who doesn't like anaconda babies? Even though yellow ones are uh, bitey, but that's fun, you know. And then again, you can't really see the snakes in the enclosure because they're anacondas and they like destroying everything, including the light bulbs in their enclosure. Well, it's not a bulb, but whatever. They pulled it down, ripped it apart, so I gotta get a new one. Thanks, anacondas. You guys are brilliant at this.